Constantine V took a hawkish policy against the Bulgars. He went on multiple campaigns against them, and historian George Ostrogorsky estimated at most nine. What were his military actions? What were the effects? Find out today on Roman history. In 745, Constantine V went on his first offensive against the Bulgars and Slavs in Thrace, in 751, he gained a bit of Thrace from the Bulgars and Slavs. During Constantine's Arab campaigns, he transferred Christians to Thrace to repopulate due to the Bulgar invasions. As a result, Adrianople became a significant stronghold against the Bulgars, and there were new defenses. The current Bulgar Khan, Vinay, saw these developments as violations of the 716 Treaty of Tervil and Theodosius III. The stipulation was for the Eastern Roman Empire to pay tribute to the Bulgars. However, Constantine V refused to abide by it, and in the late summer of 755, the Bulgars attacked Thrace and got to the long walls of Anastasius. The Romans successfully responded with their new Tagmata troops and inflicted heavy casualties. In 756, Constantine launched his first land-sea operation against the Bulgars. His navy was on the Danube River, and land forces headed into the Bulgarian heartland. He won the battle near the Markeli Fortress. Both sides agreed to peace terms. In 758, he conquered southern Macedonian Slavs to control the northern Aegean coastline between Thrace and Thessaloniki. In 759, the Romans defeated the Slavs in Varna but did not get the news of the strategos of Armeniacons, Paul, death against the Abbasids. As for the Bulgarian front, the strategos of Thrace, Leo, died. Nevertheless, the Slavs gave obedience to the Romans. However, they lost to the Bulgars at the Battle of the Rishki Pass, but the winners failed to take advantage. In 760, Constantine attacked the Bulgars and did a second land-sea operation. His navy raided the Danube Delta, and he led his land army to Markeli. At the Battle of Markeli, the Romans won but suffered heavy casualties. The same went for the Bulgars. As a result, he gained hostages and a truce due to the Arabs attacking the Armeniac theme and killed its state Gus. In 762, the Bulgars suffered a civil war, and the new Bulgar Khan, Telets, went on the offensive. He raided in Roman-controlled Thrace, defenses, towns, and villages. Also, the Slavs retreated to the Eastern Roman Empire and resided in opposition theme in northwest Anatolia. In 763, Constantine committed a third land-sea assault. He had 9,000 cavalry on land, and the rest on the ships. According to the Patriarch of Antioch, Nicephorus, there were 800 ships for the cavalry. On June 30, 763 AD, the Battle of Anchialos occurred. Both sides fought for many hours, and despite the 20,000 Bulgar reinforcements, the Romans won a decisive victory. Telet's servants killed him. Constantine returned to Constantinople to hold a triumph at the Hippodrome. Also, he killed Bulgar captives. The new successor to the throne was Sabin, but the Bulgars overthrew him and had to retreat to Constantinople. In 764, the Romans raided Bulgar territory, and Bulgar Khan Vinek tried to make peace with the Romans. However, the Bulgars overthrew him too. As a result, he fled to Constantine. In the same year, the Bulgar Khan, Sabin, chose Umaros to be his successor, and Constantine later replaced him with Taktos. Then, the Bulgars retreated to the Istros River, and the Romans burned the villages. In 765, the Romans raided Bulgarian territory. In June 766, Constantine did a fourth land-sea operation and headed to Anchialos and Mesembria with a 2,600-strong fleet. The Bulgars feared it and tried to get peace terms. But by July, a storm put the expedition to failure and returned to Constantinople. In 767, the Bulgar Khan, Tabita, died while fighting against Roman raiders. There was another peace treaty, but Constantine did not care to abide by it. In 768, the Bulgar commander, 
Slavin, was dead. He launched an invasion in the southern Balkan plains but suffered stiff resistance. At Varna, the Bulgar Khans, pagan, servants killed him. In 770, the Bulgar Khan, Telerig, committed raids. In the spring of 773, the Romans did another successful land-sea operation with their 2,000 warship galleys. It ended with a treaty but did not gain perpetual peace. In October 773, Telerig committed a failed attack on Thessaly. In May 774, Constantine did his sixth land-sea assault. His navy, carrying his Tagmata troops, was on the Danube Delta, and the 12,000 cavalry was on land. The two sides met in Varna and agreed to peace. He was successful and gained peace. In October 774, the last Bulgar Khan to face Constantine, Telerig, sent 12,000 men to Brzezicia, it was in northeastern Macedonia to get the Slavs into Bulgar lands. Constantine responded with an invasion and won at Lyosoria. In 775, there were two campaigns. The first was in the spring, but a storm occurred in Mesembria and returned to Constantinople. Telerig knew about Constantine's intelligence system and the use of royal hostages as bargaining chips, he used the information to get a list of Constantine's friends and killed them, also, he executed the Roman spies in Bulgar lands. Constantine responded with his last invasion, but it abruptly ended due to the illness of Constantine. He died on September 14, 775. Under Constantine V, the Bulgar state almost nearly collapsed. Two years later, Telerig and his followers retreated to the court of Constantine's son and successor, Leo IV the Khazar. He accepted Telerig and made him a patrician. Even though the African and Italian exarchates were gone, Constantine had a surplus. By his death, the revenue was more than 1.9 million nomismata, and the military payroll was 700,000. The Bulgar aggression was complicated. One theory suggests the pro- and anti-Eastern Roman policies. The issue is not always clear-cut. For example, the Bulgar Khan, Pagan, was not pro-peace due to his meeting with Constantine. Another theory is the Slavs were the first defense line against the Romans and had close connections with them. The problem is Slavs were not pro-Eastern Romans. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.